What's up, everybody? We are putting this bad boy together. We are going to do this side now. This side here. We got to get bolts and whatnot. Go through there to there. We got them right channel. These are the the M3 times 10 millimeter. So that will that's a what that goes a here. It's a what that goes a here. And for a little extra extra added hot to Well, not really. More looks a little preventative maintenance down the road. But I don't want this body coming apart. We are going to load the shit out of it with some uh, thread locker. I don't want this damn thing coming apart. Is it needed? Probably not. Do I care? No. I'm just going to do it anyway. I have this thing where I'd rather have the assurance of knowing it ain't going to come apart that I don't plan to take it apart. Not like I'm going to get another one of these down the road and be like, you know what, I want to take it apart and put a different half on it. No, I'll just buy the other, another body and put the other half on the other body. This one specifically is, like I said from probably the past other video, this is going to be the replica one uh, 10 scale version of my Cherokee outside. So this way, I can either put it that on display when I go to cruise, car shows and Jeep shows and events, or even just go to the trails with it. Simply, that's what this crawler is made for crawling on the trails. That'd be fun. But I want to do some get a nice light kit for it and all this other stuff. So it'll be a nice build. It's going to be a pretty cool scale build, but at the same time, it's going to be something functional that is going to. I can actually still really crawl crawl with it. It doesn't need to be a crazy over the top rock crawler but it's gonna be cool Ew. Mm -hmm. a little dab -a do you there a little yabba dabba do you and we got our another one on here get my little tool That's coming along. Now this is a pretty nice body. It's pretty straightforward. It is um, pretty much for the most part, you know, it's it's all there. All the pieces there. It's labeled screws. The instructions are nice because it's pretty straightforward and easy to read with the instructions. So yeah, but let's keep going now. Next step is, according from directions, is the uh, roof panel, which is over here. Nice. So this roof panel uses an M2.68. D1. M. 2.6 millimeter, 8 millimeter. 2.6, 8 millimeter. That's these guys right here. Alright. So now, move that over there. Move that over there. Oh, these are Phillips. Oh, jeez. Anyway, these are going to go into the roof. So I got to flip this over. empty, put that off to the side, give this a little flip out, flip it in, flipping in. That's the rear bumper. 
bumper. Or a front bumper, I don't know. It's one or the other. One of the bumpers. One of the bifidus. <laughs> Comment down below if you know what movie re that reference line was. Or that movie line was referenced to, I should say. No, that's too big. Should have there. Not here. Now these look like they go all on the uh, back and the front of the roof and the side. So we'll give it a go. better though, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Uh oh. What'd I do out there? That was an empty one. Okay, that can get thrown away. Now we're just gonna come along each individual line here. Put these screws exactly where they go from the picture. I'll show you here in a second the inner structures of this here body. Right. Yeah, as you can see, there these each of these here screws. There's one there, 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 all along that way, as it shows here in the in the instructions. So I'm just following each step by step and keep going. So I'll finish this up and I'll get back to you when we get to the next part. Now up next here is this here rear body panel, the tailgate. It just, you put it in place and then you got to use those same screws. And it'll, uh, screw from the back side and whatnot and it will you know, hold it all together. So we'll continue with that. Ooh, doggy. Starting to look like something. Everything's all on there together. Next step now, I guess, is going to be the grill. I'm going to hold off on putting the fender flares on because I'm going to paint the body first. So I'm gonna do the header panel, but not the grill. Put the header panel in, but not the grill. And I'm not gonna put the lights on. And I think from there, I'm going to be pretty much done assembling things after that. Cause I'm not gonna put the windows in or any glass till after it's painted as well. So I'm gonna figure this out, header panel. And then from there, I think that's gonna be it for the video. So I'll get back to y'all in a second. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I'm gonna finish putting the rest of the grill and all that shit in after I paint it. But for now, that is done and ready for me to bring to work and start doing some paint work. Another cool thing that this came with, because I bought it new, because the last time I had that body, I didn't buy it new. It was on another crawler I acquired, so I didn't get the interior, but I got some interior. These are the fender flares. But there's my interior for that, which I'm going to end up trying to put in. And I plan to, uh, I'm going to have to repaint this the color of mine. But yeah, boy. Yeah. I can see already I'm going to have do a little bit of trimming on the front wheel wells they're hitting the front already but yeah boy gonna be cool gonna be cool Alright, well, that's going to do it for this video. 
peace out. A town down. I don't know. Catch y'all on the next one.